This is something you don't see very often in February. There are bees fanning the entrance of this hive already. So that means it's either too hot, which is only 52 degrees outside today, or there's too much moisture inside the hive. Because they are modifying the circulation. I just had a bee land on me. He landed on my finger and then he flew away. He was being nice. But it's just something you don't really see very much of. Bees fanning a hive. 52 degrees outside. February 26th. Now there's a lot, one thing I've noticed is there's been a lot of flies around the front of this hive and so there's always guard bees in the front. And you can see them bringing in pollen, still maple, it's the uh, light yellow so it's still maple. I took a walk through the woods today and I was amazed at how much buds and blooms there are already. Kind of scary. I kind of expect, actually, I just looked up and noticed my peach tree buds are swelling. I kind of figured that was coming. So that's peach trees. Already seeing swelling buds on them, which means three or four more days they'll be in bloom. And down here, we have, wow, this is peach tree. That is crazy. I knew that was going to happen. I mean, that, that bed right there is about to like burst open any day in February <laughs> then one of my plums is already start it's already green on the plums I wouldn't be surprised if in another day or two I don't see blooms on it I uh, haven't really seen much out of the apple trees and the pears yet. Um, and down here I've got some cherry trees. I haven't really seen much on them. But I think it was back in January where I posted pictures of the elderberries were already starting to... Elderberries already starting to get leaves on them. I mean, they're kind of early anyways, but earlier than normal. These are all elderberries here. That's elderberry. This is elderberry. This is elderberry. And then there are some cherry trees here. I don't even see like buds not swelling on them yet. So that's, they're usually early and they're not even, they look deader in the doornail. They won't be dead. I mean, they'll spring back, but generally they're one of the first ones to, to flower. Crazy year. This could be good for the bees though. I mean, I don't know. Like, what happens if everything starts four to six weeks early? Does that mean you have a good crop year? Is that what's going to happen? Or are we going to get a real bad spell of weather and these hives are going to be just loaded up with brood that can't fly? I don't really have anything to base this on because it's never been this warm this early in the year. 
as long as I've been raising bees, which has been since, uh, let's see, what has it been? Seven years now. This will be the seventh year or eighth. We've never had a winter this warm this early. Now we've had, we have had winters where you would get like a, a single warm day in January or February. Or maybe two warm days in January, February, but not where every day is above 50 degrees. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. I mean, we, two days ago, it was 73 degrees out here. It's, I, I really don't, I just don't even know. I don't know how this is going to work out. I know the next day that it gets above 65, I'm probably going to have to do a split on this hive. Even though this is one, two, three, four, four deeps and a medium. I know I've showed this before. I basically didn't pull my fall honey. It's a one, two, you can see three deeps, then a medium, then a deep. And now this, then you got my... Uh, inner cover and then I put sh sugar syrup on what are you doing outside the hive but uh so yeah I went all the way through what I thought was going to be winter three deeps a medium and another deep you know about 200 pounds of honey was on this hive <laughs> going into winter and uh, just with the cancer and all that stuff, I just, I didn't get to it. Uh, should be an interesting year though. Anyways, I'm just rattling on now. As always, thanks for watching. God bless you. God bless your families. God bless your homesteads.